celebrities Wanda Sykes, Angelina Jolie, and Christina Applegate opted for double mastectomies to avoid what they feared was inevitable. Other, less famous women have suffered through traditional breast cancer treatments, many without ever exploring any other options. It doesn't have to be this way. The Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute treats breast cancer. It is well known that lives are saved here, and when cancer strikes, the Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute, the world's largest freestanding proton therapy center, stands as an excellent choice for the treatment of cancers of the prostate, breast, brain, spine, lung, head and neck, GI, and pediatric. Air Force veteran and cancer awareness activist Lawrence Davis fought to get the treatment he knew would make the difference for his prostate cancer. He sought funding for the treatment from the Veterans Administration to no avail and put boots on the ground quite literally to get the word out. Have you had your mammogram? And in October of 2014, Davis took that first step toward healing. I'll say now, bring on the protons. <laughs> Thanks to the generosity of those who support the Gala of Hope, his dream came true. Hey, we made it! Yes. But another segment of our society can equally benefit from proton therapy. Breast cancer is the most common form of cancer found in women, affecting millions. Roughly 300,000 new cases are diagnosed each and every year in the United States. My cancer being on the left side, you know, I was, I was really hung up on it being so close to my heart. I had breast cancer uh, on the left breast, uh, making it even more difficult as far as radiation is concerned. Because in this area, you have to worry about you know, accidentally radiating the heart, the lungs. And with traditional radiation, that's exactly what would have happened. One of those most common side effects that we see is women can develop heart disease, especially if the cancer is on the left side of the breast. The advantage of proton therapy for these women is it gives them the benefits of radiation in reducing the local recurrence without the long-term side effects of radiation to the coronary vessels. And what about the rates of reoccurrence of cancer after radiation treatment? Is proton therapy a better choice? A big study that conducted by the Massachusetts General Hospital from Harvard University looking at hundreds of patients that have had x-ray radiation or proton radiation. And we see that those who have had proton radiation have about half as much risk of developing a secondary cancer as those who have had x-ray radiation. And what about those women who went to the extreme, like comedian Wanda Sykes, to have both breasts removed when cancer is found in only one? Was that decision driven by the fear that cancer would also develop in the healthy breast? Well, a recent study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association found that survival rates for breast cancer patients treated with surgery and radiation compared to those who opted for a bilateral mastectomy were virtually the same. So along with surgery and chemotherapy, Hupti provides women an alternative to the mutilating results of mastectomies. The data that we have published from the institutions that have done this. Very exciting, very good results, and very low side effects. I expected all kinds of burning, all kinds of pain, all kinds of pe peeling. However, it was no worse than a regular sunburn. And I used aloe vera that took care of it. Some tenderness to the skin, but no burns. And the healing was fast. You know, the color of the skin came back relatively fast. Lung cancer treatment is also a focus of the Institute. We are also treating patients with those lesions that are on the outside of the edges of the lung where we can just give the treatment in two weeks, cancer's gone. And Hupti is not resting on its laurels. They've been hard at work upgrading their facilities to include pencil beam scanning technology. With this, protons are delivered with far more accuracy in less time and with even fewer side effects. It is ideally suited for patients with irregularly shaped tumor volumes, head and neck tumors, base of skull tumors, tumors around the spine, 
Protons by themselves are ideal because we treat no, no tissue beyond the tumor, but now we have a way of further refining it going to the tumor. This is especially important in the treatment of pediatric cancers. Radiating healthy tissue in children can cause developmental delays, hormone deficiencies, and even hearing loss. We had done uh, surgery, we had done chemotherapy. Um, that was not keeping the tumor at bay. We knew that radiation was our next option. Um, with him being so young, um, I did a little research. Um, I wanted to try to find the safest option, and proton therapy was the safest option. After my proton therapy, I feel great. I feel like I can be able to do anything I want, you know, get out and get active. That sentiment is echoed by nearly every Hupti patient. People who have been given their lives back from a technology from a staff and from an institution dedicated to fighting cancer and saving lives. In 2012, my father passed from indirectly from prostate cancer. 2013, my brother uh, had prostate cancer. Uh, I found out really I had prostate cancer was in April of uh, 2014. How you doing? My name is Lawrence Davis. I'm with the Hampton Roads Prostate Forum. Okay. If you have a cancer, Proton is the best way to get it taken care of. Well, I in turn decided to go with Proton. The VA told me they would not do that. Wouldn't even pay the 20% that I need to pay uh, for doing it under Medicare. It says proton beam therapy has not been deemed as appropriate option. So his request has not been approved. After reading this letter here and looking at what uh, Medicare has paid, uh, for me being a, uh, a retiree, I could not afford the extra cost uh, paying that extra 20%. And so I raised hell back and forth about, no, I can't have this, I won't have it. This thing has got to get out of me some kind of way or another. Cancer does not discriminate. Cancer strikes the old, the young, black, white, and what we're trying to do here at Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute is to have a place that gives those people hope. We treat all types of cancers, including GI, lung, head and neck, prostate. For prostate cancer, patients treated with proton beam radiation, the GI complication rate drops to one half of one percent. And that is just a remarkable improvement over what we can achieve with our regular x-ray based treatments. It's in fact a tenfold improvement and we're very proud to be able to offer that for our patients. There was no side effects, none. I was able to function in my job. Uh, it, it was the most unbelievable experience of my life. Brain and spine, breast and pediatric. That bell signifies the completion of a patient's fractionated course of radiation therapy. So they have been through usually anywhere from four to nine weeks of daily radiation therapy. And for them, ringing that bell means they are finished their completed therapy, moving on to the next phase and hopefully cure to their tumors. Oh, that's the best part of the day is when I hear the bell. We celebrate just as much as everyone out in the, out in the lobby. We need a universal approach to funding, whether it be from private donations, whether it's from state funding, whether it's from the federal government, in order for us to continue our mission of saving lives and easing human misery. Joanne uh, worked uh, very hard for the Proton Treatment Center for the funding for it because she thought it was very important to the community. She had breast cancer. She was diagnosed in uh, 2000 five or six and uh, ended up in uh, D.C. And when she got out, it came out of, out of the cancer treatment, out of the surgery and all, they said she was, she was totally cancer free. And then within a year it came back and it came back with a vengeance. I think she would probably say that there are some things that we could do without and some things that we need to fund. 
but surely she would think that the Proton Treatment Center at Hampton University is, is one of those areas that need to be funded. It's so important that we have options other than just chemotherapy or in, in surgery. I was given only three options of treatment. Cryogenics. Prostatectomy. I could have the seeds put in. Or standard radiation. Or I can do external radiation. I said, you've left one out. He said, what's that? I said, proton therapy. He said, well, there's not enough outcomes. Well, I knew there were outcomes. I had done enough research to know that they were outcomes. The University of Florida published the results of a five-year prospective study that demonstrated a 99% freedom from PSA progression at five years for both low-risk and intermediate-risk prostate cancers. These doctors, even though I question the ethics of it, were going to direct me into their radiation program. In the United States, we tend to try to keep our patients within the vertical tiers of hospital integration, which is a fancy word for saying the folks in one hospital system like to keep their patients all within that hospital system. I would hope that my physician would sit down with me and take off his brand and take off his hospital association and speak to me with the honesty of a physician uh, because that's really what I'm coming to him for. There are many pa patients who cannot necessarily afford uh, to get this treatment, so we have established a fund here through our gala to help to pay for those costs, out-of-pocket costs to those patients. In order for us to uh, complete this mission, uh, it helps us with giving funding and funding assistance to uh, veterans like Mr. Lawrence Davis. I have been praying for uh, there will be some kind of way that I can do this. I've learned about Proton, and I learned about what Dr. Harvey was doing, because I like that guy. The finance department of, of uh, the Proton Center, what they did, they went out and searched and found funds for me, and I found that the funds come from uh, galas and different things that they give to help indigent people. I'm just so excited that I'm that I'm going forth with this. Uh, say now, bring on the protons. <laughs> yes, indeed.